Yo, Yo what up, FaceTime? Sorry, uh, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, I actually knew, didn't I, see, I, knew, I knew you were gonna do that. I didn't even put it, sorry. Yo, what's up, JT Sky? Yo, what's up, K pop idols? Yo, what's up, everybody? Today, we are reacting to idols who are say sign of other idols. Wow, wow, <laughs> so there are levels to this thing. Of another idol, damn. Wow, the more you know, the more you know, bro. You think, you think you've seen it all in the K pop world? Yeah, I mean, like some of these things are just taken out of context, though. No, yeah. yeah, that's why I'm chilling to see what yeah. this is gonna be. So I know if I should blast you, cooking it. <laughs> nah, sorry, <laughs> let me see the like ratio and the dislike ratio so we know what we are. Okay, ah, since okay, people didn't dislike it, then okay, that's okay. All right, guys. Before we go to the video, you know what to do, guys. What smash are they going it. to do? Smash, smash, smash it. Button. What smash it. Doing? The like button to smash it. And what they're doing? Again? You can, yeah, you can. Keyboard draw video. warriors. Put down your comments. No, we don't have petrol. Don't be angry at Tosha. We are. We are just reacting. Yeah, Comment sorry. whatever you want us to react to. React you to. can put react to in front of you so that we can easily find it. Yeah. So hmm. we can just search react to. Yeah. What? Or wow. just put the link to make it better, please. Yeah. React to link. All right, so yeah, let's just dive right into the video before we die. Most K-pop fans know what Sasuke does. The specific things they do to get the attention of idols. They have no shame in selling idols' as personal information, their flight information, and Why are you whispering, Shao? Some Sasuke fans will even stalk their idols through airports or to their home. But as awful as that is, did you guys know there have been cases where idols were actually assassinated with other celebrities? Even though it's not really common in the industry, because you'll probably get banned, I did find some cases where celebrities did this kind of thing. So back in 2015, a trainee named Dahyun, no, not Dahyun from Twice, this is a different Dahyun, was preparing to join the group called Pink Lace. Netizens discovered her commenting on an EXO member's Instagram account. Netizens. 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 What's Netizens? Maybe a group of them. Maybe EXO. Netizens. No, EXO. Those are EXO. Or maybe the group of Dahyun. Maybe it's Netizens. Hmm. But what what does that have to do with this? Discovered they are commenting on an EXO member's Instagram account repeatedly to the point where they thought it was harassment. I don't know what that means. That's just okay. Oh. Let's see though, because I don't think commenting and spamming your like to the point where they thought it was harassment. Actually, netizens even made a post about her on the website pan and called it a trainee hitting on EXO. Multiple screenshots show Dayan repeatedly commenting on Sehun, talking about her soon to debut group and asking for his support. She also said that she wanted to meet up to give him her group CDs after the debut. Netizens also found out that she was always tagging Sehun in her Instagram photos. And it wasn't just Korean netizens that called her assassin, Wait, but it's when international not in the photo, XML's like, too, she's which is pretty shocking. Mm. Oh. I didn't really think about it. Enter national fans left her comments calling her a Gangnam plastic monster, and they even sent her threats. As a result, Dayan ended up deleting her Instagram account. Wait, I don't get it. Wait, but that why? Is, I say, son. As in, I don't even know. So, okay, she's tagging Seiyun, she's commenting on Seiyun, so you're, you're, not, you're not sending her threats. I mean, there are a lot of fans that do this too. Ah! They get it, that's what I'm saying. Just because she's an I idol know. doesn't mean Does it, exactly. she can crush on... Like now, see JT now, very famous, bro. Yes. You can, you can go. I now. used to tag him on my Instagram pictures. As yeah. It doesn't mean like I'm a sister. Exactly. Come. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're looking for JT, right? Yeah, I'm looking for JT. I told you. What was the first thing they said uh, she did? She was commenting. commenting. Ah. That, that she might soon, that she would debut she soon, blah, blah. She debut soon, see you at the top. That doesn't make any sense. People, no, I people do that to even like propose. Hey. To like Most, get the yeah, action, what is it called? Get what the, it? the get the attention. To yeah, see. unbelievable. Ah. Also, it's not clear whether her group debuted or not. There was a blind gossip that said a girl group's debut was delayed because a member violated their contract. Nobody really knows for sure what happened to Pink Lace, but as EXO was part of a third generation of K-pop where the Holly Wave reach spread a little bit further, their fans were extra careful to protect them from any saucing behavior, no matter how mild it was in comparison to the extreme cases that are more well known ah, today. Wait, oh. Stop disturbing EXO, you are a crazy face and fan. Fuck you, you just go. Ah ah! I mean, how is this okay? Like, then? so wait, what's, what's the difference between you two? I don't get it. Exactly. <laughs> wait, see this. I'm not even shocked. If I was in their place, I would be disgusted with me. My fans to if they are the way, way exos are. 
trying to stop. The other example like, is like, the channel their anger somewhere else. Do you guys remember the group Glam? They were a girl group from Big Hit Entertainment that debuted in 2012, and they're the only girl group Big Hit Entertainment has ever debuted to date. Glam had five members, Trinity, Gion, Zini, Dahi, and Miso, and they were pretty successful. BTS even acted as backup dancers for them back in the oh, days. Wow. Their group didn't last very long. After some time, Trinity left the group for what the agency said was personal reasons, but actually, fans discovered that she was assassin of Super Junior's Ita. Old posts on message boards revealed that she lied about being the daughter of a broadcast station CEO, just so that she could get into Super Junior's waiting rooms. Oh, okay, that's a assassin behavior. Oh, she wow. lied about being the director yeah. so she can get into the building so she, um, she can get close to him. So, because of that, it wasn't just e took that knew Trinity, but the whole group who knew her face. After Trinity left the group... Wait, she left a K-pop, a successful K-pop like group just so she can lie about being the daughter also so she can get close to another K-pop idol. Wow. That's dumb. Honestly. That's fucking dumb. So yeah, that's so dumb. I swear to God. And she's not blood. Okay. Anyways, though, mm -hmm. ah. yeah, that's not. Yeah. Ah, yeah. we like even like it's it would have been easier. Like you, you're already successful as an idol. It would have been like, so much easier, easier like meeting him. To, yeah, to meet him. Ah. Another glam member got caught in a big scandal and even got arrested. This was such big news back then. Dahi got arrested for blackmailing actor Lee Byung Hun. It's kind of a long story, but just so you guys know how serious it was, mm. Dahi should like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Then attempted to blackmail him for money with Lee Ji-yeon, who was a model at the time. Dahi ended up getting a one-year jail sentence for her involvement in the blackmail scheme. From what I could find, it seemed like Dahi chose Lee byung because he was a successful actor. Do you guys remember him from the G.I. Joe movies? And she needed the money urgently to pay back her agency. It was believed that she owed Big Hit Entertainment almost 300 million won, ah. which is equal to just a little more than 240 US dollars. The next idol sassing I could find was about Diamond Jung. Diamond is a former contestant. Is that Chinese? from The Voice China, and actually, she was the winner for that season. Before winning The Voice China, Diamond was a trainee for a Korean agency called Hot and Entertainment, and through them, she debuted in the K-pop group Sunny Days. Because Diamond kept getting Wait, more and more famous, netizens became interested in her. In the K-pop group Sunny Days. Because Diamond kept getting more and more famous, netizens became interested in her and started looking into her past. And you guys know, netizens can literally find anything. Anyways, Chinese netizens ended up finding proof that Diamond was one of the four big exorcists in China. And Wait, I don't get it. Like, mm -hmm. when she they saw that she was she becoming was successful, successful they started digging into her past. Into her past. Yeah, I don't know that's, 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 that's fucking people's, sense. That's people's jobs for it. That's the internet's job for it. Like you, you are such a miserable this thing. Doesn't mean you, you want to drag people. Like why, 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 why? What's the so what's I the don't game know, now? Man. Like me or if I discover somebody like that I like or me personally, like I won't go around like digging their past yeah. tweets, their past thing. I just yeah, enjoy their exactly. music. Yeah, and even if you would just... think maybe, uh, maybe this past will ruin it for really? me. Really? I, let me just add. I don't really want to know. Yeah, it's just fun. I'm happy for you. Like, like it can never cross my mind that I want to so check like someone's change, past. Like, like so, there are actually people in this world that you just go around. Can't dig in the past. I don't understand. That's so unbelievable. I think that's another obsessive behavior though from people like that. Yeah. In fact, the four sasangs were so well known for their behavior that that's what they were actually called, the four sasangs. One of the things that Diamond oh. did with a group of friends was to wait outside Exo's dorm for two days and one whole night, waiting to see the group. Like, who would even do that? I can't imagine just sitting outside my bias. I mean, dorm. yeah, what they are doing, what they did, oh yeah, it wasn't justifiable, but like, that's their past. Maybe they've moved on already or something. Exactly. Who going to see them? Not only is it a huge waste of my time, but it's also very disrespectful. Also, in a very creepy twist to the story, they also call their time waiting outside the dorm as a memorable experience that they would never forget. Diamond is actually really successful in China, and she sings a lot of soundtrack music. Last year, she sang the Mandarin version of A Whole New World for the Aladdin movie. Diamond has never wow. really expressed regret for her time. Nice. She has an OST, I think. Even exercising. In fact, as far as I know, she's never talked about it at all. Did you guys know about these idols who were sassing of Korean celebrities? It's kind of crazy to think about because it's like, how do you avoid someone who also works in the same industry as you? What if there's a huge gap, like with EXO and Diamond Jaws group Sundays? You still might bump into each other, right? Then what yeah, do you do? That was what you said about like, why would you leave your own K-pop mm -hmm. group? Like you can meet at award shows. Exactly. Like. 
Ah, go I don't understand. And they even said they were successful. Like BTS was literally was, their backup dancer. Yeah, backup dancer. So like they had a future in front of them. What would you do if you were an actor? That, that was so. That, that, that was also no, celebrity. That was the the highlight of this video. <laughs> yeah. Like, but well, that last one though, I I like, I don't know, man. She moved on already. She she's trying to have a life for herself, trying to like bring up her past. It's not like she did it at that time, and yeah. then if it's like if okay, if it was something she did then, like when what is yeah. it called? At that point, where she was, yeah, that one, that one. We've all had things we did in the yeah. past. That, that we, like when we think back, like we cringe, like what the fuck? Yeah. yeah. It, and even some of these people that are going back to look for it, yeah. they might be doing something at that moment that, ah, that yeah. can't be like you know released on the internet. Also, also, yeah. But they are just there trying to find another person. Yeah, yeah. so, Anyways, so guys, there you, yeah. Uh, yeah, there you have it, guys. Like yeah. I don't know what you guys think, but That's personally, think in the comment section, some were like okay, some were like yeah. yeah. So we'll see you next time, guys. Peace. Peace.